You can think of the ANOVA as having three different steps. First step would be formulate the hypothesis. Second step would be to calculate if there's a difference between groups, comparing variances. And for that purpose, if we first estimate the variance between groups and the variance within groups, and then we compare that to each other, right? variation between groups divided by variation within groups, this gives us the F ratio. And then with this F ratio, we need to figure out, depending on our degrees of freedom, right, how many groups do we have, how many people do we have in our sample, we can learn how likely it is to get such an F ratio, right? What's the probability of getting this F ratio? And thus we learn if our F ratio is statistically significant. Let's say if we set the probability significance level at 0 0.05, we would look if the probability is smaller than 0 0.05. If it is, if it's smaller than 0 0.05, we would conclude that we reject the null, that there's absolutely no difference between any of the groups, and we'd conclude that there is a difference somewhere. Right. Now we would go to step three, because now we still don't know where exactly those differences are. Now we would start doing means comparison with post hoc. So post hoc means after the fact. Now that we know that the F ratio is significant, we're going to try to figure out where are these differences. And we have different post hoc tests that are available to us. The, the HSD test, the Sheffy test, uh, the LSD test. So there is various options here.